the speed of light, the paradoxes of time, and how many atoms are in the universe? You know, there are a great number of questions that many people posit when it comes to understanding the universe. Some of the biggest are concerning time paradoxes, the speed of light, and the atomic content of the universe. So let's take a look at light speed, the paradoxes of time, and how many atoms are in the universe. The speed of light. First, let's talk about the speed of light. Speed is a fundamental when it comes to understanding distance, allowing us to measure distance traveled in a certain amount of time. Most people believe that speed is a constant, but Einstein's theory of special relativity fundamentally changed the way we think about speed. One speed that remains the same no matter what is light speed. In fact, many explorations of modern physics come from our understanding of light. Back in 1842, Christian Doppler, an Austrian physicist, invented his now famous experiment, the Doppler effect. Think of a body of water with a wave source that produces circular waves in the water. If you stand in the water, you'll see that the waves should hit one after another in a rhythm that should be the same as the source of the wave. If that person then begins to move towards the source, the frequency of the waves will appear to that person to have increased. This is the Doppler effect. This effect occurs with light too, due to the relative motion between the light source and the observer. If the light source moves away from the observer, the frequency will lessen, resulting in a shift towards the red end of the light spectrum. This is called a red shift, and the opposite applies with a blue shift. So how fast is the speed of light? Well, in a vacuum, light travels at an astonishing 186,000 miles per second. This causes a lot of confusion in people when it comes to the concept of a light year. Until you consider how big space is, a light year is a unit of distance, not time, and measures the distance that light will travel in the same time as one year on Earth. Considering that light moves at such an incredible pace, a light year is an absolutely colossal distance. It's 5.88 trillion miles, in fact. But how far is that? Well, if you consider that one astronomical unit, or AU, is represented by the distance from the Sun to Earth and is about 93 million miles, the Sun is actually only 8 light minutes away in terms of distance. This means that in one year, light travels 63 and a quarter thousand times the distance from our planet to the Sun. To put this another way, our entire solar system, at least as far as we know, is not even one light year. In fact, it is 0.00127 light years in size. That means that if we ever did manage to travel at the speed of light, we'd be able to get to Pluto in just under four hours. Of course, that means that using conventional space travel, it would take nine and a half years to travel the same distance, which means that Star Trek is unlikely to happen anytime soon, at least not without some time travel involved. But hey, time does slow as you approach light speed. Time paradoxes. The greatest scientists on Earth have surely been able to uncover a lot of discoveries about physics in the time since Galileo, but that doesn't mean that there aren't still plenty of things that utterly baffle us today. Time paradoxes are weird behaviors that occur in space and time that have baffled us for ages. So let's explore some of the strangest phenomena that can keep you up at night. First, there's the casual loop, which is a paradox of time travel that happens when a future event is somehow the cause of a past event. Think back to the future, when Marty changes the circumstances of his parents' meeting. In reality, the chances of him being born in the same way at the same time and living in the same house would be exceptionally minute since any decision that his parents made would be based on previous decisions. Eliminate even one and you've created a paradox. Fortunately, the plot of the film allows for a casual loop with him being the cause of and result of his parents getting together. Another theory as an offshoot of the casual loop is the grandfather paradox which is the more likely outcome for Marty. The grandfather paradox occurs when a person is able to affect past events to such an extent that they render their own conception impossible, such as going back in time and killing your own grandfather, meaning that your father or mother would never be born, and thus you yourself become impossible. There are theories here that try to deal with this paradox, with one being the concept that in such an event, the time traveler would be completely unable to affect anything that stops them being alive to affect it. In other words, the universe would protect your grandfather from any damage you could try to inflict. The bleaker outcome would be that the timeline would unravel, causing quantum insanity to abound. There is also a more perplexing paradox posited by Enrico Fermi, which can be applied to time as well as space. The initial Fermi paradox deals with the fact that if there were intelligent extraterrestrial beings out there, we'd have heard of them by now, if they behave in any way like we do when it comes to space, sending signals and probes out everywhere. 
As it stands, we have never encountered any alien life that we know of, and so it brings about the disheartening thesis that there is no other life in the universe. Applied to time travel, this theory suggests that were time travel to ever become possible, someone would have come back to the past at some point and caused us to know it. In essence, the question is, if time travel is possible, where are all the visitors from the future? Of course, they could be just so excellent at covering their tracks and avoiding detection that timelines change and the rest of us have no idea as we change with the timeline. Even if we don't know whether time travel is actually possible, we can show using modal logic that if you were to change the past, it would result in a logical contradiction. If it's true that the past happened a certain way, then it is possible for it to have occurred in any other way. In a sense then, if you did travel to the past, you would be unable to change anything at all. Of course, there's plenty of other stuff out there you can affect. Atoms in the Universe All atoms came from the Big Bang, or whatever creation event sparked the universe as we know it. But how many atoms are in the universe? Knowing the observable universe's size and the matter that exists distributed across it would make it a lot easier to calculate the number of atoms there are. Assuming that all atoms are contained within stars, even though they are not, makes it easier. We have far less idea how many planets, moons, rocks, and other astronomical bodies there are, because we can't see them. But we do know that the majority of atoms are in fact contained within stars, so let's just focus on them. There are about 10 to the power of 11 to 10 to the power of 12 galaxies in the observable universe, each containing between 10 to the power of 11 and 10 to the power of 12 stars. So that means we know of 10 to the power of 22 and 10 to the power of 24 stars. If we then average that to 10 to the power of 23, we get a lot closer. A star weighs somewhere between 2.2 multiplied by 10 to the power of 32 pounds, which means that the mass of the universe is 2.2 multiplied by 10 to the power of 55 pounds. That's a good start, but how many atoms? On average, a gram of matter has around 10 to the power of 24 protons, which means it is the same as the number of hydrogen atoms, because each hydrogen atom contains only one proton. With this as our basis, we are then able to conclude that the number of atoms in the observable universe is 10 to the power of 82. That is an extreme number to comprehend, so here's a simpler way to explain it. 10 to the power of 82 is 10, followed by 81 zeros. Okay, maybe that's not so easy to comprehend either since we have no nomenclature for it. In any case, that's how many atoms there at least are in the universe, though there could be vastly more than even that. So there you go. Plenty for you to think about when it comes to light speed, time paradoxes, and the number of atoms in the universe. What do you think about these bizarre phenomena? Let us know in the comments. Smack that like and subscribe button, then head to the Space Infinity Archives for more cosmological revelations.